absolutely soaked. All right, I've managed to get the solar panels all complete, luckily. So, I uh, didn't do too many videos because it's, it's raining. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, it's raining bad. Um, but what I've managed to do is I've gone for two 100 watt solar panels. Uh, I got it in a kit and that is from manomano.co.uk um, and it comes with solar panels, uh, the solar charge controller and all the leads. Uh, I'm sure I paid 120 something pound for it, I'm not quite sure, uh, but it is their standard kit on the website. Um, I decided as well I wanted to go for the, the brackets to fix the solar panels down. Um, you can use the ones where you fix it down to the van with Seeker Flex. Uh, for peace of mind, I wanted the brackets so I could bolt it down. Um, so I've bolted them down, um, but what I've also done is under the brackets, I've Seeker Flex them down, and I've also put Seeker Flex around the bolt on the outside and the inside here. Uh, just for peace of mind, just to make sure that it is completely watertight. Um, luckily, I managed to get the brackets on top of the ribs on the van. So you have the higher points of the van. Because um, within the channels, um, that's more than likely where you're going to get the build-up of water when it's heavy raining. And I don't fancy my brackets sitting in water for long periods of time. Um, so me personally, I was lucky enough to manage to get them onto the, the higher ribs. Uh, I'll show you that in shortly. Um, so yeah, I've got the two, one here, and then one this side, and then I've got the, the leads coming in, which is also, um, I use one of the white entry boxes, um, and I'll show you that in a second. And what I've done with that is actually seeker flex that down onto the roof. Um, but before I seeker flexed it, I marked where I was putting it. Um, and then on the back, I roughened up the edge of what was being glued down and also the edge of where it's going to meet the van, uh, just so it had more of a bond. Might not need it, but I thought it'd help. So, yeah, all good happy and one less job done. Let's see on top of the ribs here, same here and over there. There's the entry. So with the brackets of the solar panels, I've put them within the ribs on the van. So obviously if there is in here, there's more chance of water. So they're on top of the ribs. So there's one. The next one. There. And here. And then also, I've used a bit of Seeker Flex. So as I've screwed them down, I've made sure that they're watertight. And it's raining outside now heavily and they're bone dry. So, solar panels are up now, uh, I fed them through as well, so now I'm just bringing them through to the van to where the control panel is going to go, so all good. Amazon order.
perfect timing. So my lights have just come. So I've gone for small LED spotlights, which are quite thin, uh, seven mil I think. So perfect timing. So with the solar panels, I got that solar charge controller and with it, you get these clips to go onto the wires, but they don't actually fit in there. <laughs> so what I've had to do to the solar panel, don't know if you can see that. I've had to twist the ends into two separate parts and then twist them round so then they then slot around the screw hole. <laughs> Fantastic. Just set up the uh, solar charge controller temporary just to make sure it's all working. Yeah, all happy with that. See the wires going up through the van. I put a little grommet there just so we don't catch on the um, the hole that I drilled through the van. It's going up. So now 
the lights that I got today. I'm just going to quickly check them to see if they work as well.